Hey, hey, party people. In addition to Backstreet, Girl World coverage is back. All right. Today will be day three of what is seemingly going to be a week-long homework assignment. As you may have noticed, Goral is MIA. Not missing in action, missing in apartment. Mm -hmm. We have not seen any sort of communication from the star of Goral World in four days now. What could possibly be more important than uploading to YouTube, Goral? Hmm, well, more early days of wifey coming at ya. For today's scripture lesson, you will need a new car, travel plans for Thanksgiving, and someone to love you in ways no one else ever has done before. Call up Cupid, because we are love-bombing our way back into the Amberverse. We last left off with Wipey arriving at Amberlin's apartment. Keep in mind Amber has doxxed pretty much everything but Wipey's social security number at this point and her identity has been revealed. In the next few live streams it's clear Amber's had a harsh reality check and tries to play it off like they've broken up and she and Wifey are no longer. Ah! <laughs> okay! You guys are literally contacting the wrong person and I think that you guys should know this with my mouth because you guys are harassing someone that literally I have no idea who they are. They have no idea who I am. Her name is not Jade and you guys are literally- See, and the thing is about this is Amber was the one who docks the girlfriend. It was Amber. Amber, and you know, the girlfriend didn't help herself out either, making the username far from jaded and talking in the chat and sending in donations and everything. She had a hand in it too, but- Amber Lynn wanted so badly to blame the audience for this. You guys were the ones that put her first and last name out on the internet. You guys are the one contacting her. You guys are the one saying where she's from and everything. This is all of your fault. She wanted so badly to say that, but she couldn't because she was the one that did it. But she still did scold the audience in such a way that suggested that it was more so someone else's fault than rather assign blame for herself. Because, I mean, really, what are we going to do? Take accountability? <laughs> Good one. Messaging someone who has no idea who I was until now because they messaged me on Instagram. Becky said her name was Jade. It's a joke because you guys started saying her name was Jade, so now Becky calls her Jade as a joke. That's why I didn't have a reaction to it. No, the far from jaded person is not her. Like, ugh. and it's making it to where I don't even want to talk about her anymore at all, so I'm not going to. So I'm just letting you guys know. Yeah, this is why I shouldn't have said anything and why why she will literally never be on here, and I'm never talking about her again from this minute forward. I just need you guys to know that you are harassing the literal wrong people. Um, and that does it make so the reason why Amber Lynn had such an emotional reaction to that is I guarantee behind the scenes, the girlfriend got weirded out and maybe got cold feet, took a few steps back, said, Ooh, you know what? I don't like all this attention. I don't like tens of thousands of people knowing my first and last name and where I live. Uh, maybe this is not what I want to get myself into. And Amber Lynn picked up on that and thought, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm almost two months into this now. No, you're coming. You're staying. You're living here. You're taking care of me. Because she had already kicked Becky out. So it was this girl or no one. And we couldn't have no one. You sad you can't talk about any current or potential romantic relationships. I know people love to be able to share their happiness with the world. Whenever I do get into a relationship, I will no longer talk about it on here. It just sucks. If you're in love, you want to tell people. And if you're happy, you want to tell people. It's kind of like a privilege in a way, and I've gotten that privilege sort of taken. I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> I personally have found that the most loving people and the most happy people in life aren't the ones telling a whole lot of other people how in love they are or how happy they are. I mean, really, if you go on social media, go, seriously, log on your Facebook right now and go down your, your wall or your feed or whatever, all the people on there posting all the pictures of them smiling. Look, uh, look how happy we are. Look, oh my gosh, family vacation. Oh, we're having such a good time. We, we're all, oh. Uh, those people are the ones that are screaming at each other behind the scenes. <laughs> you don't tell people how happy you are. I mean, these are just things that people can pick up on themselves. I don't know. That's, that goes with most things in life, too. I mean, I find it very awkward when someone just out and out says, I am this. 
how about you let me come to that conclusion? <laughs> Taken for me, and it sucks. When and if I ever do get married, you guys will literally have no idea. So that's a thing. <laughs> that's a very interesting thing. Honestly, are you single currently? Are you? That was so snotty. If and when I do get married, you guys will have no idea. <laughs> like there is, what's with that kind of energy? I, it's just. I don't know. When you're a public figure like this and you have a platform and, you know, an audience and people that you want to like you, people that you want to come back and watch you, why are you being snotty to them? <laughs> Becky, still as close as you thought you would be in the beginning when you first broke up. Yes. And we're close. That is literally my cat. How are you coping with ending such intense relationships so close together? Um, I don't know. I don't know what's making you the happiest at the moment hmm i guess the relationship and I relationships that i have with certain certain people that's what's making me the happiest right now what relationships did she have during this like awkward transition period this this awkward fake transition period between the girl that she met in july of 2021 and when she started dating Alex in the fall of this year. I mean, uh, seriously, uh, other than, other than wifey living there with her, I mean, I mean, it, well, really, I mean, you know, if you even think about it, that, that goes with today too. I mean, I mean, who, who do we have? She's burned every single bridge with any former cast member, except for, I don't know, maybe Dana. But I don't think that Amber Lynn and Dana are genuine friends. I think that they get together when it's convenient for them to be on the same side to, like, I don't know, trash talk Destiny and fight back at Destiny. I don't think that they're actually friends. But, I mean, really, it was wifey, and then she's out, and the mom. Yeah, and the pets. Eek, there I am. Hi guys. And I like have major perfection issues when it comes to my eyeliner. So the fact that it's not even kind of ghost to tell ya. Oh, the fire alarm situation. Oh my God, you guys are gonna be so annoyed with that. I'm sorry. That started happening literally tonight. So, so I'm doing very small clips throughout um, the week. I'm trying to, I feel like this just is not a good like angle or position at all. Um, change the alarm. Yeah, we have to call the maintenance to do that. We have to call the maintenance. Who's we? I don't know. That's just like out of yeah. Yeah, I was about to say who's we. <laughs> I mean, there is no, there's no way that Amber Lynn could do something like that, though. I mean, when you need to change a smoke alarm like that when it has a low battery and it starts beeping like that at you, I mean, you need to usually get up on a ladder or a chair or a counter, a stepping stool, something to go up there and and twist it off of the ceiling. Oh yeah. Maintenance or the uh, Olympic athletic girlfriend would need to do it. But a habit because Becky's still on the lease. So I think just naturally I say we. You guys have to realize that this is very new for me. I love that. Yeah, I did. We did. Oh, the fire alarm is off the wall. Hot Topic does have plus size, which is pretty awesome. So there's a little switch on the bottom of the alarm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I turned it off. Do you like BTS? If so, who's your favorite? I don't like BTS. Never listened to BTS. So. Yeah, I really want to go to Home Goods, like hardcore, because <laughs> what the heck was that? I'm leaving. I there's an actual ghost. So, um, now that I live by myself and Becky doesn't live here, like I have a whole ass extra room and like all mine, like things are gonna be a little bit different. So, wait, let me see what I weigh without that in my hand. 519. Okay, tell me how this weighs a whole ass pound. Please get acrylic nails again. I can't be getting no acrylic nails. It's just hard to do things. Would you flirt if a guy slid in the DMs? You can't do your own acrylic nails, right? I mean, like you can like paint your nails at home. You can do like press on nails, but to get like actual like acrylic nails, that's something that you would need to go to a salon for, right? So, I mean, at this time, if we were buying what Amber Lynn was putting down, she wouldn't have been able to get the acrylic nails because she had no way of getting to a salon. Unless she Ubered, I guess. But 
Has Anne Berlin ever Ubered? Uh, Ubered. Ubered. I know that we talk about that, but it's more of like a theoretical thing in the Amberverse. It's like, well, if Amber would need to, she could just Uber. But I don't think that she's actually ever used a ride service like that. It's always just kind of been like in theory. You know, you know how like in physics or like uh, calculus or something, like you, you you talk about theories and things like that. It's like theoretical concepts. It's not actual, like absolute zero. It's it, it's like a theory. <laughs> <laughs> like the the ride service thing. Like Amber Lynn not having a car, not having anyone that could drive her, but she needed to go somewhere. This is like a theoretical concept. We, we use some type of formula for Amber Lynn getting in an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm single. I'm confused. And that's that. I've been falling asleep at a certain time. I kind of have like a nighttime routine moment now. Why not get online earlier if you have such a strict bedtime? It's not that I have a strict bedtime, but then I woke up the next day after finally being able to fall asleep and my whole calf was like super red. Not even my calf, like my whole leg, like shin and calf. And I was like, oh, I know exactly what this is. So long story short, I got a very bad case of cellulitis. I had to include this because it's almost a year later and she has gotten cellulitis at least five more times. Um, the sickness did only last 24 hours. And I know how I got the cellulitis. I have a little um, a cut moment on my leg. It was just like really bad, but I'm on antibiotics. But I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Whatever. I, I mean, you know, you get cellulitis. Just take some antibiotics. Whatever. <laughs> and anything happens to you well i'll just go get a z-pack whatever antibiotics we can just take antibiotics that'll make the problem go away <laughs> you know cellulitis can be deadly so glad you're okay yeah i saw a doctor like instantly because i knew exactly what it was because i've been down this before been down this so i knew exactly what it was i knew i just needed antibiotics and we'd be fine do you think rebounds are fun? Oh my god, you cannot be that blasé about it. I mean, especially if you're getting cellulitis five times like that, uh, re recurringly. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I mean, I, I woke up, I, I knew what, ex I, but I took one look at it. I knew exactly what it was. I, I Antibiotics, let's just go get some antibiotics. <laughs> my god. <laughs> She acts like it's like, I don't know, chapstick or mouthwash. It's like, yeah, let's just go get some, you know, it'll make you right as rain. Are bad for mental. Can be fun, but it's also like, okay, give yourself some time to heal. And I know I'm like kind of being a hypocrite. I, okay. I don't think I've rebounded when I was talking to that person, but it was, you know, some people could look at it like that, but it definitely was not that. I'm just saying. Like, I feel like with rebounds, like you're searching for it. It doesn't like find you. I'm so proud of you for setting boundaries with your viewers. It's been hard. It's been so hard because there's so much I want to say. Like, you guys have no idea. Oh, so much I want to say. Can't say it. There's a large chunk of this audience that watches me uh, that is a little cray cray. If they stopped watching or they stopped with their cray cray, then I could start being open again, but I don't see that happening. Like, I'm literally talking. <laughs> If the portion of the audience that you are describing as cray cray, if they all left, <laughs> which after this video, I, I mean, Amber's views dipped. T 2022 was a steady decline. We, I, I, I do. When you think back to the live stream era and you think to today's Amberverse, a lot of people have left. The, we, our community has maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say like cut in like half, but we have lost a lot of fellow gorals over this, you know, two year period. Happiness. But anyway, to finish my thought, if all of those people were to leave, <laughs> God help you. I'm doing positive affirmations. There is a person in my life that I do trust more than I've trusted like anyone, which is a new feeling for me. And I'm not sure like how to navigate that feeling because it is very different. Do I resent Becky? No, I just am confused why you'd propose to someone and like break up with them, like all in the same like few months. Like that part's confusing to me. I actually- <sighs> Amber was the one that pushed for the engagement though, right? I mean, from what we learned about Destiny, she pretty much made Destiny get her a promise ring. So, uh, I mean, I don't think it is that far-fetched to believe that Amber Lynn put the idea of marriage and pushed for it when she was with Becky, too. 
So, I, oh my gosh, I don't understand why you would propose to someone and then break up with them if you just, so, it's just so weird to me. I don't know. I mean, I don't resent her. I don't hate her or anything. I just think it's freaking weird that you would do. <laughs> okay, girl. Like, as if you weren't the one that pushed the concept and put the idea in her mind and probably badgered her about it every day and bought the rings. Okay. I'm spending Christmas alone. I think I just want to be okay with spending it alone. Do you like a femme type or a tomboyish girl? I like, you know, studs, like, okay. The cat used the litter box. <laughs> Literally thought there was a ghost in the house. Okay. Hey, Mariah, awesome. I sent you a DM on Insta. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my cats are so funny. Um, mentally preparing for all the compilations I'm about to see if we're looking to the side. I didn't know I was looking to the side. You look to the side when you're looking out. No, I'm literally alone. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I think my sink just made a very, very odd noise. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I still do I have any plans for this weekend. I do. Um... You'd have to think that that's staged. Oh, guys, I don't want you looking into this girl and where she lives and her first and last name or any of that stuff. But, but then they get on here and they do these little like SNL skits. It's like, well, which is it, girl? I, I mean, do you, do you want the audience paying attention to the girlfriend or do you want her out of sight, out of mind? Because this kind of behavior of you guys doing these shenanigans on live stream deliberately, because this was on purpose. I, I mean, which is it? And obviously the girlfriend's playing along with it too. Um, hanging out with someone. <laughs> A new boo moment. Yes, it's a new boo moment. This is when she starts to really try to convince us that Jade is gone, and now there's someone new in order to explain why it's very clear. There is someone living with her now. No, I guess I can't be single. I thought new boo was a Halloween pun. Maybe. Maybe I'm hanging out with a ghost. We'll never know. I think it will help to clear the wifey narrative once and for all and put it behind you. At this point, I feel like people just keep speculating about it for the sake of it. Yeah, that whole thing has been an absolute mess. I personally hate everything that happened regarding that whole thing, and I do not want to talk about it. Like, the fact that people are so crazy and they continue to think that I'm... Yeah, pe people are crazy. It's the audience's fault. Because otherwise, whose fault would it be? Amber's fault? We're not doing that. Uh-uh, we're not having that. <laughs> Can't be Amber Lynn's fault. No, of course not. Has to be the audience's fault. They're crazy. They're manipulative. They 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 push boundaries. It's it's all their fault. I I hate the way that all of that went down. You know, they put the keyboard in my hand and made me do with my hand the keystrokes, typing out the titles of uh, where the girlfriend lived and uh, you know her her last name and things like that. So I just hate the way that the audience made me dox my girlfriend it's despectful still in a relationship with this person is frustrating because it's not true i am very much single and i do have friends over so when you see a shadow or you see someone's foot or you hear someone breathing next to me you know i'm not by myself 24 7 that would be i feel like i would go crazy that'd be kind of crazy when i do get into another relationship i'm gonna be very hush hush about it obviously i'll probably mention it just for the sake of like i'm not okay <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad i'm not tooting who does she think that she's fooling I mean, really, do you th do, like uh, do, do, you, do you think that out of the tens of thousands of people that watch Amber Lynn, that this convinced one person? <laughs> like, do you do you think that this like one person actually thought that this was genuine, that they actually broke up and she started dating somebody new? <laughs> I would love to have a conversation with that one person if they do exist my horn but like i do get a lot of messages of people like hey i'll take you on a date or this and that blah blah um so if i get into a relationship i want to make it known because like i don't want people to be messaging me those things so it's so weird when people comment jade this or jade that because my name is jade and i'm like wait why are people talking about me i know like i don't know this whole jade situation like it's become so crazy it's like y'all have created an imaginary girlfriend for me and i just really appreciate that i love that for me how did you stop binging i found happiness and other things i know that sounds like crazy but i think the binging a very large part of it was loneliness depression i felt like i had to stuff my face to numb certain emotions and it's like those emotions that i used to numb i feel like aren't there as much because i have found happiness in other things and situations her next live stream is titled watermelon kisses so she found happiness and fulfillment in other things aka having a new girl around so i mean if we're following her line of logic here that would mean that she was depressed 
lonely and overeating to fill a void that Becky couldn't fulfill for her. So really, Amber Lynn's issues that she was trying to work out during this period of her life, well, and today, because, I mean, we haven't fixed these problems still, were because of Becky. She explained in an Instagram Q&A that it's their inside joke about spitting watermelon into each other's mouths. She refers to this joke even to this day. Good old watermelon. I recently wrote a poem called Watermelon Kisses, so if you guys are uh, wondering about that. Guys, we all know she won't talk about wifey. She's never going to address wifey unless she gets caught on camera by accident or something. Until then, it's just the cat changing the fire alarm battery and a friend driving her around. Wifey no longer exists. Wifey is a thing in the past. That sounds like something that Amber Lynn would send to herself. I, I mean, really, like, let's listen to that one more time. She, she is, she's addressing everyone. Guys, listen, gang, folks, everybody listen to me. Until Amber Lynn is ready to share with us, it's just the cat, the fire alarm, the whatever. Like, that sounds like something she typed out. <laughs> like, what viewer would have sent that in? What wifey? She's never going to address wifey unless she gets caught on camera by accident or something. Until then, it's just the cat changing the fire alarm battery and a friend driving her around. Wifey no longer exists. They, like, as if that question was trying to set the record straight for everybody listening. <laughs> Who would have sent that in other than her? Yes. Wifey is a thing in the past. We do still talk. I am dating someone. I remember I told you guys that I was talking to someone. Now we have officially started dating and they are local. So they're here a lot of the time. Uh, the fire alarm and the friend driving me around. You guys have to realize like I'm not alone 24 seven. Like if I was alone all the time, I would go literally insane. I have friends, I have people in my life. Speculation regarding anything. No, I have friends, I have acquaintances, I have people coming in and out of this apartment all the time. This was the girl who was afraid to do anything because of COVID. Didn't go anywhere. But I mean, we know the real reason why we didn't want to go anywhere. It's because, you know, just it, it was a hassle. It, it's it's painful. It's annoying. You know, if you can have entertainment and food brought to you, why would you go out into the real world and do it if it meant that you had to lug around yourself? So, I mean... Amber Lynn went from someone who was having everything delivered and able to run her life out of this apartment to suddenly, you know, she's an active member of the Lexington, Kentucky community, and she knows a lot of people and has a lot of friends over in, in like a three month period. <laughs> it's just crazy. Just accept that I do have a girlfriend now. Will I be showing her on camera? No, I just feel like right now the safest thing to do is just don't talk about my relationship but i just think there is a fine line between things that i should share and things that i shouldn't share i'm just kind of tired of bringing people on my channel and them like getting their life ruined it creates an uncomfortable dynamic between me and the person whose life got ruined by being on your channel in regards to something that the audience your viewers have done to them. If you feel that Crystal, Destiny, Dana, Eric, Ricky, Becky, if you feel that any of those people have had their life negatively impacted by being on your program, do you really think it is because of what someone has said from the audience's point of view? Or was it you filming them, you putting their presence and their information online, you talking about them, you, you spilling tea on them and everything. So I'm tired of introducing people onto my channel because I end up ruining it. <laughs> but yet, that was, that was the audience's fault too. <laughs> This has happened quite a few times in the past. I feel like I want to do everything I can to protect the people I care about. You said the reason for not talking about what happens in your life is because you're afraid people might hurt those around you. That's fair, but there are ways you could do it without identifying those people. You can tell us what happened. Um, 
the title of this video, Can't Stay Single and Striking Reaction Channels, this is when all of the drama went down with her and Apathetic Facts. Apathetic Facts is the creator of the video that we are watching right now. They are linked in the description below. You should check out their channel. And I believe that between summer 2021, fall 2021, that is when we saw this mass exodus of people because people became really fed up with this. It's like, okay, we're going to show the girlfriend. We're not going to show the girlfriend. Oh, we broke up with the girlfriend. There's a new girlfriend. We're not going to show this new girlfriend. Uh, uh, we're not going to talk about the old girlfriend. We're to, like, people get fed up with it. I, I mean, this was going on for months at this point, and I don't blame people for losing their cool or losing their patience with this. I mean, Amber Lynn was dragging this thing out, and it was so, so boring. Not that it got any better. <laughs> 2022 was a snooze. But this whole striking reaction channels thing, I believe Amber Lynn, when she saw this mags, mass exodus of people losing interest in her channel, she thought, okay, well, it's not because I'm boring. It's not because I'm not giving any information or it's because I'm teasing information about introducing a new side character, but yet never showing their face on here. It must be those darn reaction channels. Ugh. Those stupid reaction channels stealing my content. That's where all of my views are going. That's why I didn't make as much money this month. <laughs> Again, so always someone else's fault. You can tell us how you met the new people in your life. You don't have to mention their names or their location. You've started these stories, so it is only fair that you finish them. I'm sure it's very frustrating that there are things that I've mentioned that I stopped talking about or I don't explain why my last breakup happened. I will always have the people in my life come first and always respect their wishes if they don't want to be on camera. And I most definitely respect their wishes if they no longer want to be mentioned on YouTube at all. Like I try my hardest to share things that are going on in my life without giving- When did this rule go into effect? I'm always going to put the people in my life first. That certainly wasn't the case for Becky. <laughs> I mean, like, on a, if we were to drop a list of priorities in Amber Lynn's life while she was with Becky, Becky may come, come in, like, I don't know, like, 572nd place. Being too many details away. I literally went from oversharing and telling you guys absolutely everything to, like, not telling you guys anything at all. It seems like you never take serious breaks. Yeah, and that's why it was so frustrating for the audience at the time. We went from a very transparent person who shared their life with us and kept us involved with the tea and was, enter I mean, questionably entertaining to this crap. I mean, we went from live streams to vlogs. Live streams were a lot more exciting because that's when there were opportunities for Amber Lynn to show us the real her and not edit everything out. We would actually get to talk with her face to face. The vlogs felt very robotic. And then even when she was putting the vlogs up, they were so boring. So boring. Breaks in between relationships. Why do you think this is? You're right. It seems like I never take long breaks in between relationships. I thoroughly just love love. I love being in a relationship with someone. I love the affection, the companionship, just the way that it feels. Like the stages of love, like true love is so beautiful and so fun. And like getting to know someone on that level. I do enjoy being single, but I also enjoy being in a relationship. Every relationship that I have gotten in, I've never searched for it. Somehow it just kind of found me. I never purposely jump into things quickly. I always just go with the flow. I truly don't believe in relationship timelines like if you want to get married to someone a week after meeting them go for it she can't be alone emotionally or physically because she can't truly take care of herself so she latches on to whoever gives her attention completely false i can take care of myself emotionally and physically the person i'm in a relationship with currently does not take care of me at all i take care of myself her girlfriends are just caretakers she can't take care of herself if it weren't for food delivery services, she wouldn't even be able to get groceries. I cannot figure out why people think that my girlfriends are caring. That's actually true. If it weren't for food delivery services or having someone drive Amber Lynn to the grocery store like that or Instacart or some type of grocery delivery service, 
that's 100 percent true because i mean what was Amber Lynn gonna do at that point was she gonna walk to the grocery store she couldn't drive and then i don't know if we were to pull out our quantum physics textbook and you know go to page 572 you know, we could talk about Uber and Lyft and everything, like taking her to and from, you know, the local Walmart to get groceries and everything. But I mean, at that point, that's kind of a pain, too, because what are you going to do? Get dropped off by the Uber, go in, grocery shop, and then bring all of your bags back into a different Uber, Uber back to your apartment, and then what, take multiple trips walking back into your apartment or get the driver to help you? I, th- this is also messy. I mean, that would be a little bit irritating and a hassle for a normal person, you know, height, weight, proportional, let alone I- I- the situation that we're talking about right here. So, no. I, I mean, really, ha- what what type of refute or argument does she have to that person saying that without some type of delivery service? you would be SOL. That's 100% right. And I, we talk about this all the time on here. This kind of lifestyle rec- depends on and relies on the aid and help of others. And what makes that possible? I mean, you know, you watch that TV show. It's a friend. It's a grandparent. It's a neighbor. It's um, a significant other. It's somebody. Somebody's making this possible. But, you know, for this sake here, we're able to get, you know, the YouTube monies. And then the YouTube monies are able to, you know, allow someone else to, you know, kind of be in the picture and then make it possible. Caretakers. I get it. 2019, Amber Lynn, she was cray cray. She looked like she needed a caretaker. She didn't have one, but she looked like she needed one. But this 2021 Amber Lynn going into 2022 Amber Lynn, I don't know. Like, do you guys still just like picture me as that girl in the past? I don't know. I don't want to. I, I mean, really though, what had changed? I mean, between what, two years at this point, what had changed? I, I mean, she showed us the, the scale back here. It, we said like what, 520? And she said her highest was 570. I, I mean, really, are you like able to, I don't know, parkour and do all these crazy things between 50 pounds like that? I mean, she told us, she came on here and told us about how bad it was. She went into great detail about how Becky would bring basically, you know, the washcloth into the room and she would just kind of, you know, do the best she could. Those were her words. So, I mean, between 50 pounds, it went from being that dire to, Oh yeah, let's travel the world. Let's do all this stuff. Like, really? That's that's all it took was to take that little bit of you know amount off. No. I want to be like victim, but it's like I'm going through these comments and it's like wifey reaction channel strikes, wifey reaction channel strikes. I'm just like, ugh, there's more to my channel and more to me. And of course, we can't forget the moment we all noticed her new girlfriend was a Scorpio, just like wifey. Can I ask what horoscope sign wifey is? I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio, love that. I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio, love that. Okay, so my girlfriend came over and she cooked us dinner. I'm actually going to be spending Thanksgiving alone, like completely by myself. There's going to be no friends, no family, no girlfriend. So I currently don't have a car. I will be eventually learning how to drive. My girlfriend does want to teach me how to drive. I feel like all those relationships, everything I've been through in those relationships have brought me to this very spot, which I am very actually happy with this spot. I can thoroughly tell you I've never, ever, 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 ever been this happy. How did you meet your current girlfriend and who asked you? Did they have the car at this point? I think that they did. Because I'm thinking, I mean, if the girl, if if wifey moved out there in August, she would have been there for what, like two and a half, three months at that point. So what she probably did was Amber Lynn got her this new car, and then she was like, "Well, I gotta go back home for Thanksgiving." So I mean, how far of a drive is it from Lexington to Brooklyn? So she probably took the car, drove. Because she said Amber Lynn, well, I mean, you know, even if the car was still parked at the apartment complex, it's not like Amber Lynn was able to, you know, do anything with it. So regardless, I mean, she could have flown, she could have taken the car with her, Lexington to Brooklyn, 11 and a half hours, 
I mean, that would be an annoying drive, but you could do it in one day. Who to make it official. We met online and she asked me. So my girlfriend was over and we were just sitting on the porch and we went to walk back in. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but so she walked in before me and I went to step up to walk back in to the apartment. And I don't know, like my slipper and my foot in the doorway, they didn't get along very well. And I ended up falling. I literally fell straight onto my knees and then my whole body just went plop onto the ground. So she didn't actually see me fall, but she turned around as soon as I fell, like literally on the ground. And she was just, she just saw me on the ground. I got up so fast. I literally, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I am spending Thanksgiving alone. That's something we talked about. I mean, I actually don't remember that specific conversation about her falling or whatever, but I mean, this was the fall of 21. Curbgate was summer 2022. So she fell again later on. And when she fell, they were both outside in the apartment complex parking lot. Wifey was allegedly walking one way. Amber Lynn was walking another way. And Amber Lynn fell. And her first instinct, you know, like anybody who was, you know, in pain and needed help was to, you know, call out for assistance. Amber Lynn didn't want to because she did not want to look humiliated and vulnerable in front of the girlfriend. So, I mean, what, at that point, you guys were together for a year and you were still embarrassed to be seen in a position like that around your partner that you, you know, allegedly are in mad love with? And that's, it's hard for me, honestly. Today has been so hard for me spending it like alone, but I've been low key down in the dumps because of the holidays. Me spending it alone is pretty hard. Spending this holiday alone has been rough. Normally the holidays are always hard for me. It's just something past trauma type stuff. This year just didn't go that way. So I got this super cute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. My girlfriend actually got it for me. By the way, this is dry eraser, so it does come off. My girlfriend wrote that for me. She also wrote, you're mine. It's just really sweet notes like that. And I'm just like, she's so wonderful. She's coming over tomorrow and I am actually pretty damn excited. If Destiny didn't break up with you, would you still be with her? Hell, if Crystal didn't break up with you, would you still be with her? Honestly, no. Where I am in my life right now is just so wonderful that I am beyond grateful for all of the past heartbreaks I've had. Like all those heartbreaks is, is what led me to the person that I love today. And it's just like a really great feeling that like I thoroughly am in love with this person and it's like they feel the exact same way towards me. And I don't know if I've ever truly felt that type of love. But constant relationships, I think it's all coincidental. It just always seems like it works out that way. But I do like to share my life with someone. I would prefer to be in a relationship over being single, but I don't just like get into relationships so I don't have to be alone. Absolutely not. If your new girlfriend really is local, then why were you alone the whole Thanksgiving weekend? She was with her. I think that she would get back together with Destiny. I mean, even on that phone call that happened last month, there were moments where it was like kind of like they were like having fun with each other, almost like it was some type of friendly banter. I, I don't I don't know they butt heads and like in a weird way when people butt heads at times it's like you know suggestive that the two people have chemistry uh, i mean they might tell you to your face no i don't want anything to do with her i, I hate her guts no, like ew, gross whatever but i don't know yeah maybe family for the weekend and I was invited which oh my god that made me feel really good honestly but due to my size I personally just did not think that I wanted to travel that far I'm hoping like next year I can actually do it like I love when someone doesn't want to keep their hands off of me I'm just like being honest because nine times out of ten if you don't want to keep your hands off of me I also that's kind of sad I mean to be losing out on opportunities like that to spend a holiday with family well I mean, you know, your girlfriend's family at the time. I mean, yeah, I mean, what would we say? Like, it was about a 12-hour drive from Lexington to Brooklyn. And then I don't know what that flight would be. The flight would probably be at least an hour, hour and a half. But I don't know. Amber probably wouldn't. That That wouldn't work either. I want to keep my hands off of you so and i love to just constantly be told that i'm loved like i love you or you look beautiful or just like i can't wait to marry you now 
that I'm in a relationship where I'm supported in a way that I never have been before and I'm like actually thoroughly happy. Like this- The same exact rhetoric that she used in the summertime. Now that I'm being supported, now that I don't have that awful leech of a human Becky around, I can finally grow and prosper. I finally have the right kind of energy. I, I can finally become my true self. I can break out of this cocoon and become this plus size butterfly that I love and it looks beautiful. I mean, girl, girl, if you really think that finding the right partner is what allows you to become your best version of yourself that's a very warped interpretation of personal growth this is what happiness feels like i have no reason to turn to food like i used to and in the last few months even if it was a person that made me realize that my life is worth it i've never wanted to live this much in my whole life why do you still have the green roses that wifey gave you why would i get that's the same thing she was getting sad about that even if you found uh, the perfect relationship that should not be your reason for wanting to be alive or for wanting better for yourself. That's sad. That's very sad. Well, I found someone that loves and cares about me, so I guess now I want to be around. That's that's so warped. Get rid of infinity roses. Something that I have wanted for so long. I can't think of a single reason why I'd get rid of them. It wasn't until like recently recently that i started to be fearful of dying and it's mainly because like i don't want to die young like i have created a future that i really really want for myself and there's people in my life that i i can't imagine never seeing again i spent the holiday alone so that was really really hard for me spending it alone kind of hit a whole new like level of pain so there was one or two nights where i did binge eat being alone for the holidays and just like that sadness i feel i wanted all the food i wanted literally all the food so i've been a wee bit mia you know it all started with me spending thanksgiving alone and then you guys i got sick i actually had cellulitis in the last couple of months, I've gotten cellulitis twice. Oh, that's no big deal. Just go get some antibiotics. Nice. <laughs> so that's very weird. We're doing really good. I love taking the antibiotic. You've been very vocal about things that you want from your partners in a relationship. Other than money, what do you offer to your partner? I, I don't offer money to my partner. I will say I'm very much the person, if I care about you and I love you, I will give you my last pair of socks. I am so grateful and just happy that I'm in a relationship with someone who has their own job. They have their own money. They buy things for me. Like that is very new. Like that's no shade towards my exes, but that is like a very- new That is, especially in the way that you said it, your tone said everything. Oh my God, I finally have a partner around that'll buy stuff for me. Oh my gosh. Like as if, girl, do you know how much live-in nurses and live-in caregivers and, you know, like personal registered nurses, things like that are? I mean, really, I, I it is, it is just obnoxious levels of ignorance right here. I, I mean, really. Because Becky didn't buy her, you know, the latest Lego from Target that she wanted. Oh, you know, she didn't love me. She didn't care about me. I, I, what about what went on in, you know, the bathroom? You know, what about what went on, you know, when she brought the washcloths in and everything? I, I mean, just to be so dismissive of someone that gave you some of the best years of their life and treated you in ways that really, I mean, you're talking about how wifey and everything was there for you in ways that no one else ever has before. I, I mean, if we're thinking about your other relationships comparative to Becky, Becky has gone bed, bath, and beyond for you. New concept that I'm not used to. We laugh together. Not only are we lovers, but we're best friends. I literally told my girlfriend, I feel like we, I could feel 
I know the texture of our heart. So mentally, I feel a lot of like emotional pain when it comes to my weight. I feel like I am being held back because I can't do the things that I wanna do, which in return, I feel like I'm holding my partner back because there's things that we wanna do in the future. And it's like, it hurts me knowing that like this is all up to me and to be a part of her future and to be a part of the future we have created like traveling i'm so excited like i have to lose weight it's not even debatable at this point i just feel extremely lonely i have been turning to food to help me feel better i was traveling yeah i mean these are these were all very early things that Amber Lynn was trying to speak into existence. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do the darn thing. I'm going to finally get all this off and we're going to travel, baby. We're going to go hiking. And then you know, a, a year went by and then another 7 months went by and there was no traveling, there was no hiking. There was just DoorDash, Mario Party, Amazon Prime. And I think that wifey realized that it wasn't going to change. There was never going to be travel plans. There was never going to be hiking. There was never going to be anything more than what Amber Lynn has created for herself in this apartment, which is DoorDash and Amazon Prime. So I think that wifey was kind of fed up. I mean, because really you only get to be in your 20s once. I mean, she's given this girl almost two years now. Uh, what? I mean, you know, you want to you wanna keep doing this throughout, you know, your the, the end of your 20s? You, you want to go into your 30s doing this? Do you want to, you know, creep? No. It, maybe at first you, you can, you know, kind of think like, oh, things will get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like, we'll, we'll get on track, you know, and then, and then it, doesn't get better and then you start to come to terms with it and then it really sinks in and then it gets to a point where you're you know having a bit of resentment and contempt for the other person because they aren't changing and you're ready to go and they're not and then we've come to what we saw a couple weeks ago seeing a lot of comments like when i was really happy people were saying i was manic i was going through a high and I was getting extremely defensive over it, but it's like how I've been feeling lately. I'm like afraid that I might be going through a low. Do you ever get nervous about people in real life seeing you and your girlfriend together? Do you avoid going places together? How would you navigate that situation if a picture got leaked? It's definitely something we have thought about, talked about. If it happens, it happens. I just feel like in situations like that where if we are in public and someone saw us, snapped a picture, it's kind of something that we just have to accept. If the tables were turned and Becky was the one who got into a relationship very soon after you two splitting up. The first ever photograph from what I remember was April of 22 of, of wifey. The, the one that I use in my thumbnails because I mean, really, I, I literally have one photo of wifey and I have to keep using it in every single thumbnail when I talk about wifey. <laughs> you guys know what photo it is. <laughs> that photo was taken... Yeah, like four months after this. But yeah, I, I guess that Amberlynn thought about it. It's like, oh, you know, what if someone does see us at Ross? What if someone does see us at Home Goods? You know, like, here, let me do it first. And invited them to stay at your apartment and was constantly talking about how much you love them. Would you be okay with it? Would you not feel hurt or like your boundaries were being pushed? There's a big part of me that wants to be like, no, I'd be totally fine. Like, invite her over. If the roles were reversed, yes. It would have hurt me a lot. I think the reason why Becky and I thought it was okay to bring my girlfriend here was because Becky wasn't hurting after the breakup. She was happy, she felt free. I don't know, the breakup was just very different compared to like other breakups. I do feel bad for talking about the new relationship so much in front of Becky because I didn't realize- Regardless of if someone has moved on or not, I mean, you flashing your new partner in their face and really inviting them in to move in with you so quickly, that would, that would hurt. Oh my gosh, I have the hiccups now. I may, I may be doing like little pauses like that now. Guys, that it was upsetting her a little bit. She broke up with me. You know, this is my apartment. And if I want to have someone come visit me, then I should be allowed to do that. Thankfully, when they met, they got along. There was like no awkwardness. This is my apartment. Real quickly went from our apartment to my apartment. 
So you can ski that. Oh my God, you can ski daddle, Becky. Like has your girlfriend seen you binge and what does she think of it so i have over eight in front of her multiple times it's it's been multiple handful of times regarding binging i have binged around her like one time i think i don't really have the urge to binge like i used to or else i feel like it would have been a lot more times than just the one time obviously it makes her sad i mean i feel like it would make anyone sad if you cared about someone and you saw them doing that to their body um it actually happened recently to be honest which is kind of crazy and i think it's because my headspace has just been so you know i want you guys to know that within the next like month or two i think a car might be in my life so i will be actually like going to target can you guys believe that like something as small as going to target just sounds so wonderful to me i don't leave the house i don't have a vehicle that's wild if they actually didn't have the car at that point. <gasps> I mean, really, for, for what, three, four months you had that girl living there with you and you guys could, couldn't go anywhere? So I choose not to leave, plus with like the whole COVID thing, what I got for Christmas video, and Adidas sweater. I got her a hat that says press on it. Jordans. I was super nervous. Like, she loves shoes. Collects them. I got her these. The infamous Jordans. She loves them. She's already worn them. Okay, so now on to what she got me. It was kind of sort of $400. It is a piano. Heaviest Lego I've ever had in my hands. It's just so thoughtful. Because it's like, I mentioned that Lego set a couple months ago, just like in passing. And then that's something she ended up getting rid of for $400. <laughs> So she got this thing where... And then didn't learn from that. Got the Lego for $400, got rid of it, donated it or whatever, probably. <laughs> and then went on to get the Titanic, which was double the price. Got rid of got rid of the Titanic. Ugh. The Titanic always just, you know, <laughs> it always meets such an ill fate. <laughs> you can, like, take steps while you're sitting. Like, so um, I showed my girlfriend this was literally months ago. So you put your feet on here and you go for a walk while you're sitting in your couch. It's really cool. It counts like your distance, the calories you burned. It's just so sweet. Because oh my God. I remember Q QB. Oh, QB. QB was a hot character for a minute there. <laughs> I really, really wanted it. Christmas, we took tons of photos since it was our first Christmas that we actually spent together. So I'm just beyond thankful for everything she got me. And I know she's super thankful for what I got her. It was just like a really freaking amazing Christmas. And then for this one back here, back here, what? New toys and some new treats. I just like making people happy. I don't know. It's like a weird thing. My girlfriend got me this like painting kit thing that we did together. In the beginning of this year, I was engaged. And then I got my heart broken in the middle of it. And then I fell in love again. So it's like, I want to reference 2022 as like, that's the year I got my shit together. Since it's New Year's Eve, me and my girlfriend will be drinking tonight. We got- Fell, fell in love again, fell out of love, fell in love again. Mm. <gasps> Little slip up. I think at that point she just didn't care, like didn't even care anymore. Some Brooklyn Bel Air sours. That's mainly what she's going to be drinking. I was actually- my girlfriend's first New Year's kiss. And I have to admit, it was the best New Year's kiss I have ever had in my life. I have another grocery haul to do. Uh <laughs> this is my girlfriend. Why did you post a picture of your girlfriend on Instagram? So my girlfriend and I were drinking one night. I made a joke where I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna post this on Instagram. And instead of saying no, she said, do it, do it, do it. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, it's just gonna stir the pot, if you will. She took my phone, cause I let her, and she posted it herself. It wasn't me who posted it, it was her because she genuinely wanted to. And I mean, why not? Like, it's a cute picture. How long ago did you mention the gifts that your new girlfriend got you? That's a good question because I've had a lot of people because in my uh, what I got for Christmas video, I said thoughtful. The word thoughtful came up a lot. She rambles about how thoughtful wifey was to get her expensive stuff that she wanted and not just anything. Amberlynn's love is easily bought and wifey definitely knows that by now, Goral. The fact that she remembered that is what is thoughtful. Yeah, I remember the time that they went to the mall um, and they went to the Bath and Body Works and Amberlynn picked out a bunch of stuff. And then uh, Jade walked up to the counter and said, baby, I got, baby, I got this. 
I'll, I'll pay for this. I'll whatever. And that like, oh, that like won Amber Lynn's heart over. Oh my gosh. She, she bought the $50 worth of Bath and Body Works merchandise. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to, you know, pay for her rent for an entire year. <clears throat> me because i've never experienced that type of thought coming from someone else when it comes to my gifts and it is what it is are you worried that by keeping your girlfriend a secret from your viewers it will hurt your livelihood i always told myself that i would not be in a relationship with someone who was not okay with being on camera i feel like that was very important to me and honestly when i first started talking to my current girlfriend i was not expecting any sort of relationship or anything like that but it's like you can't help who your heart falls for at all her life matters too and if she doesn't want to be on the internet like how could i take that from her i have to respect my partner trust me her and i have talked about this countless times but i respect her more than i care about having more views a lot of people want to see her because they want the tea yeah and what that translates to is it is more important to have a caregiver around than to make more more money based off of views we needed this girl here and if keeping her off of camera is what it took then that's what it takes they want to know what she looks like. They want speculation. Like, they love the drama of it. Will she be in my videos eventually? Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> Will you put that one, like, on my head? Wait. <laughs> I don't know how to get all this in here. <laughs> so this is my girlfriend. <laughs> You will be seeing this background far more often. My girlfriend actually did this for me. I appreciate her so much. You guys, I'm currently in my girlfriend's new car. She keeps saying it's our new car, but let's be real. It's hers. I will be learning how to drive in it. it not anytime soon. I am so proud of her. Like She's just super hardworking and it's just an attractive quality. And I'm just like so proud. This is my girlfriend, <laughs> baby. It's an attractive okay. quality. D Becky wasn't hardworking. Okay. Mm well, the thing about that is, I mean, if Becky wouldn't have been doing what she did, you, you would have needed to pay someone at the time to do that. So she was she was hardworking. So I mean, you know, just because she wasn't on a payroll and wasn't getting a physical check, she was still doing work. <gasps> this is kind of like when people say that stay-at-home parents are lazy. I, I mean, or you know, it's not a real job. Well, I mean, if being a stay-at-home, so if being a stay-at-home parent isn't a real job, and they go and get what you say is a real job, I mean, other. Otherwise, you need to hire someone to look after the kids. So I guess after all, it is a, a real job. Because if you're not going to do it, someone else has to do it. And then you have to pay for that service. So it's time for the weigh-in. It is January 20th. But my girlfriend has moved in. She is on the lease. Girlfriend has moved in. She's been moved in. For a little bit now, but it's like official, official. You guys would honestly love her. Is it true that that new car that your girlfriend got, you actually bought? I bet she's using you for it. Not even a single penny of mine went into that car. My girlfriend's hardworking. She's not a user. She has her own money. I literally have nothing to give her besides my heart. And that's what she wants. And if she's using me for my heart and for my love, I'm totally okay with that. The person I'm with now, I know a lot of people don't understand it because I haven't been with them for that long. But if you saw her dynamic and you were like in her hearts, like she's the person that I want to see at the end of the aisle that I'm walking down when I'm wearing my wedding dress. Like she's the one I want to marry. The feeling that I feel now thinking about marriage with my current girlfriend, I've never felt that sort of like joy and happiness and just like pure excitement and love i've never felt that before like every day i wake up and i just feel extremely lucky i'm in a monogamous relationship because i will never be in a poly relationship like i don't want to share the person i love like at all and i know my girlfriend doesn't want to share me i want to show you something that my girlfriend got me mm, are you sure about that she doesn't want to share you she doesn't want to go out and have a little side piece you sure about that i've always wanted one of these i have always wanted one of these rose bears you heard me say it this was, it has to be like a few months ago. I was actually on the phone with my mom and she heard me say it. And so she surprised me with one and I'm literally obsessed. Everything my girlfriend's ever gotten me has been like the sweetest, most thoughtful shit ever. Me cheesing over here because I have like the best girlfriend ever. I'm here with my girlfriend. Just kidding. 
y'all this is another one of them thoughtful situations i was telling my girlfriend that i love having like just like a small blanket in the car she's just trying to be quirky no she surprised me with a car blanket i mean it's not a car blanket it's a blanket that she got that i could keep in the car thoughtful girlfriend goals get you a partner who gets you a blanket for the car just saying i wonder why amberlynn's not doing good anymore i guess her girlfriend's not supportive anymore yes she is for a while there like i was doing really good and yes she is but she's not taking my cell phone away from me and deleting doordash off of my phone she's supportive but she's not going to intervene supportive Ugh, and I hate to reference this again. I feel like I overdo it on this one, but the Instagram Q&A about the McDonald's when Amber Lynn was eating McDonald's and someone asked, hey, and it was like a Feline at the time. Well, I guess her name wasn't Feline at the time. It was just my girlfriend. It was like, a, ask my girlfriend anything. And someone said, why is, uh, why is Amber Lynn eating McDonald's if you're, if you're so supportive? You know, in such a big uh, role in her recovery or whatever, and she said, "Oh, she's she's a grown a woman. She she can do whatever she wants. She can you know do, make her own choices." <gasps> that to me doesn't sound like someone who is supportive. Kind of just sounds like she was pushing the responsibility off onto Amber, which I mean, honestly, it is it, it is Amber Lynn's responsibility. So I've kind of just like slipped off of that like good streak my girlfriend is super supportive and it's a support that i've never like had before but she can't lose the weight for me so right now we are making dinner well let's be wrong <laughs> i'm not cooking nothing these are turkey meatballs the sauce is a homemade sauce that she's making it's like a honey garlic type of situation so i'm pretty excited i love when she makes meatballs you know what's funny like like my girlfriend was a viewer before we got together. So she kind of saw like me bouncing from diet to diet through video. And so you met someone local dating online that knew about you beforehand. Got it. Now she's seeing it in real life. She's starting to understand me a little bit more, I think, hopefully. Babe. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Okay, while well, my girlfriend's fixing that, because I'm lost. So I wanted to show you guys something. It's something else that my girlfriend got me for Valentine's Day. She surprised me on Valentine's Day. I had no idea. Tell me these aren't the most gorgeous. Like, she knows me so well. So I did have some people asking what I got her for Valentine's Day. So some of it is personal. I got her some Jordans. She has already worn them. She does collect shoes. She loves Jordans. So this is my girlfriend's closet. Here are some of her shoes. Okay, how much are Jordans? Are, I need to look. And then here are her like Jordans, which are my fave. Noom also wants you to weigh in every day. So I have that support. Plus my girlfriend weighs in every day. So I have that support. Instacart's on its way. Uh, we didn't really feel like going to the actual grocery store, so we just did Instacart. There was a little bit of alcohol this weekend. So this weekend was definitely um, not in my weight loss plan, but I'm not going to sit here and justify. It is what it is. I had a good time. I recently wrote a post. So it looks like they're between 100 Most pairs are between 100 and $200. So I know that she got her once for Christmas, and then she got her one for Valentine's Day. Those weren't... Th those weren't the only two pairs. So if Amber Lynn ended up getting her, uh, like, I don't know, three, four, five pair, pairs of Jordans as season five progressed, that's like $1,000. <laughs> poem called Watermelon Kisses. So if you guys are uh, wondering about that. Dunkin' Donuts has refreshers. You know what? Me and my girlfriend are curious what they taste like. So we got all four flavors. So I'm going to Oh my god, this was when I started becoming a reaction channel. The tail the tail end of February 2022 and I remember one of the first reactions I ever did was for this Dunkin Donuts one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should really go back and watch some of those reactions just to like see like see like how different it is now. I mean, oh my gosh. That might be that might be fun if I did a reaction to a reaction from like a year and a half ago. 
pry them on camera. Obviously, my girlfriend's not. Right now, we're actually cooking dinner. Our go-to, um, jasmine rice, broccoli, and meatballs. <laughs> we're doing honey garlic meatballs. I actually know how to cook rice from scratch now because of her. So despite Amber trying to convince us this girl isn't wifey, we can see by now that it actually is. Wifey has started to pick up Amber's bad habits, like not leaving the house anymore to grocery shop and instead getting Instacart. She's picked up on her eating style and habits, spending in excess etc. And as for Amber well, she seems to be drinking a lot more, and the motivation and support she had at the beginning of this relationship is start- Drinking a lot more too. Yeah, and we remember when she first came into town, one of the first things that they did was they started drinking together on the couch. And then it all came to a head when Amber Lynn did her apocalyptic li live stream with the bottle of whiskey. Starting to wear off. Fast forward past all the clickbaity thumbnails and mukbangs, we can see Wifey and Amber enjoying the fruits of yet another shopping spree together. Okay, you guys, it is time for another Amazon unboxing. My girlfriend is opening it for me. These were purchased by moi. Pretty massive, so. We have here. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at my girlfriend, by the way. I got a dog food one. I'm going to open it. It's salt and pepper grinder. Maybe, you know, because is this when they started to do more hauls? Maybe after all of, you know, what, all of the problems that they went through in uh, winter and spring of 2022, maybe Amber Lynn thought, well, let me just fix all of these issues that we're having right now with buying more stuff. This is my next one. <laughs> oh my God, I wish you guys could see her. She's so cute. But look at how aesthetic, babe. Are you ready? I'm so excited. You're going to die. Do you like it? I love it. Like pink Himalayan? Is that gonna save the relationship? A pink Himalayan sea salt grinder? <laughs> but it... So you like it, baby? I know. This is fat girl in a bag. Wait, this is so good. Wait, she's spitting it out. Oh, baby, you tried them for me. Thank you. I love you. All that said, one good thing Wifey has done is she has consistently tried to get Amber to go for walks outside and to take Twinkie with her, which seemed to be going well until... I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. It was about three to four days ago. I was just feeling so low. Like that's all I would do all day long is just sit at my desk and watch YouTube. And my wife was like, let's go for a walk, let's go for a walk. And I didn't want to. My girlfriend's very supportive, constantly trying to like urge me to exercise and go for walks and eat right, eat less, not binge. But there's only so much she can do. I think I was starting to take mobility for granted again. All those times my wife urged me to go for walks and I would say no, maybe later. I regret every single time I said that and my foot was just like dangling. So I was able to limp my way back into the apartment and I was just terrified. She's just trying to be corky. I have seen a large group of people assume, you know, since I've been like bedridden due to an injury. Well, now we're gonna see is wifey an enabler or, you know, things like that. But she doesn't tell me what to do. I don't follow her instructions. And when I told my girlfriend my- <laughs> <laughs> Could you be more blunt? I don't follow her instructions. If she is giving me advice, I don't take, I don't take it. <laughs> and that's something that Amber Lynn has told us recently. If you have advice or suggestions for me, keep it to yourself because I don't want to hear it. I'm going to do what I want. She said it here and then she said it recently. My way in today, I was like, oh my God, I'm 466.0. She was like, you're 16 pounds away from 450. I have been on Reddit maybe three times. Okay. Yeah, this was, oh my God. Four, we got into the 460s. I, I forgot that, that low number of fall 2022. That's really exciting. You know, that, that, that actually is really something. I mean, if you, 
if you think about progress and things that we've accomplished on this program, I mean, to get into the 460s, you know, in, instead of like all of this buffoonery that has gone on this past year between like 520 back to 505, back to 525, back to 5, like, like 460. Oh my gosh. And that was during Ozempic. That was during Ozempic. Times my whole life. No, wasn't me. Wasn't wifey. Are you guys delusional? So no, it wasn't me. It wasn't wifey. I actually recently was telling wifey um, about a story when I was in high school. There was this guy. He was like, can I remember? Uh -huh. I gave him the Jenny Craig number. Did you and wifey have the first day you met? And we actually did. I'm not in a poly relationship. My partner is not in a poly relationship. It's just us. It's me and wifey. And thankfully, my girlfriend doesn't want that. Oh my. Oh my. I, I mean, when we just look at it all like this, I mean, it, it was doomed from the start. I, it really. That was the title of yesterday's video. Uh, doomed. Not, none of this suggested that this was going to be a long lasting relationship. I mean, the, the amount of red flags. Uh, you know, you know how when clowns do their little act at the circus and they pull all those flags out of their their mouth like <laughs> that but they're all red <laughs> oh my god the hiccups <laughs> all right everyone we have made a safe and secure landing back on mother earth i would now like to take a moment to thank you for making it to the end of today's adventure if you enjoyed the adventure please leave a thumbs up some of your thoughts in the comments and love bomb the subscribe button this is jordy blasting off i will see you next time in the amberverse